Hello everybody. I was watching a video by Rodalco 2007. I believe I got that right. Sorry if I didn't. And he asked me if I could make a video of my uh, of a couple older General Electric uh, kilowatt hour meters. And at the same time I forgot I had this one on the shelf so I actually have three of them now in my collection uh, and that's basically what the uh, how the jumper setup is it's uh, 15 amps 240 volts 60 Hertz uh, type CA and I'm not sure how to interpret this here watt hour meter single phase and I'm gonna go ahead and connect the load to it for this one I'm going to use a 1500 watt uh, electric heater. Here we go. And as you can see this one's going pretty good. It sat on the shelf for quite a few years so there is some dust and it looks like a little bit of corrosion, maybe, on the aluminum part here. There's a good shot of the internal mechanism. Uh, I calibrated this at one time and adjusted it. So it's uh, pretty accurate. Here are my two General Electric kilowatt hour meters. I think this one's a little bit older, so we're gonna plug this one in first. They use, right now I'm using the old style round meter socket, which you aren't allowed to use around here unless it's private property or hobby or whatever, but. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this one up with the same load 1500 watt space heater and as you can see this one's spinning away also uh -huh. I do know for a fact that these numbers they don't click over but they rotate rather slowly because I had this running earlier for a while. Um, give you a quick look on the inside here. This meter still has its original seal on it uh, from the last time it was calibrated. I haven't checked it and to be honest I'm not too sure on how to do that. Moving pretty good on 12 amps. And General Electric RR27 and 7 ninths. CL100 Type I55S FM2S TA15. Single stator watt hour meter. Turn it 240 volts. Uh, looks like 3 watts. 630X64. KH 3.6 at 60 Hertz. If you look in the back there you can see the uh, number dials. It's kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and fire this one up again. 1500 watts on a uh, space heater. This meter here uh, when I received it, it was decommissioned. I can't remember from where, but uh, there was a guy on eBay selling these. Uh, they were decommissioned, and right before that, 
they had been calibrated. Um, again, I haven't really checked this one to see how true um, it is. To really, there's a good shot of some of the mechanisms. Really isn't too much in here other than uh, this gear here that's feeding off the stator. And this one here, RR 13 and 8 ninths. CL200 Type I60S FM2S TA30 Single Stator Watt Hour Meter 240 volts uh, 3 wires I think I said 3 watts earlier uh, Catalog number 720X1G1 KN7.2 at 60 Hz this one this one's humming along quite nicely and there's another version that was out there I can't remember if it was GE's or Westinghouse that had a um, the numbers would roll this way like the old clocks uh, that's what used to be on my house now it's uh, electronic itronic I think it's called but Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any other questions or want further video, uh, let me know. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Just a quick fact. Um, on the back here, there's a jumper. If you would loosen this screw, loosen this one, and slide this back, it stops the internal movement, but allows the electricity to continue flowing through here. And in the past, um, residents, you know, in this area and all over that had the style meter, it was notorious for them to pull their meters and undo this. And some of them, what they would do is take this jumper out altogether. They would feed up um, an additional wire, like uh, thin gauge, maybe you know, thermostat wire or bell wire and they would connect it to these two terminals and operate it from a switch in the house. So if they were running their air conditioning and didn't want their uh, consumption to register, they would turn the switch off. But uh, the way the meters are now, you can't even pull them out like this and sit them down without... Uh, um, there's an indicator on the meter now that says the meter's been pulled. So I uh, figured I'd throw that in there for you.